It's time for a special program called the 11th Hour. This weekly program will shed light on important issues in our area and the positive steps we're taking to combat them. Good morning. You are listening to your local radio station, WMOA. Welcome to the 11th Hour, brought to you by the Washington County Behavioral Health Board. I'm Shaley Sprigg, and my guest today is Adrian Garrett, Clinic Director from Hopewell and Belpre. Good morning. Hi. So, Adrian, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself to our listeners? Sure. Uh, as Shay said, I am Adrienne Garrett. I'm the clinic director of Belpre Hopewell. Um, and I uh, have lived in Washington County all my life. So I have been here at Hopewell uh, for 14 years. I've been the clinic director here for two years. And um, I'm excited to talk to Shay about a really great opportunity for some of our local uh, workforce. Yes. Yeah, so, Adrian, uh, before you became clinic director, you were a social worker, or can you explain kind of what you did before you were clinic director? Yeah, so I um, have been at Hopewell, like I said, since 2007, um, and I have done uh, therapy um, here that whole time, and I still do. Um, I work with kids, adults, uh, group, individual therapy, um, you know, just a little bit of everything. Uh, and I, I still do that even in this role because it's something that I'm very passionate about. Yeah, it's awesome. I love that you have that firsthand experience of like providing direct service and then also doing the um, administrative side as well. It's, I've never been clinical, but I've always been in the administrative role. And so sometimes I feel like I'm missing out because I've never been clinical before. So I don't understand the direct service line as well. So I just think that's fun. fun, never a dull moment. <laughs> so um, as Adrian mentioned, we're going to have a training opportunity here in Washington County. Um, it's the first time there's ever been this opportunity for this training. I um, mean, it's something that the Behavioral Health Board is funding. So Adrian, do you want to explain a little bit about what that training is and when we're going to be having that training? Sure. So. <sighs> A couple years ago, we hired a therapist who had training um, in what is called prolonged exposure. He had had training from um, previous employment and was able to expose us to this and um, really show how effective this treatment can be in treating trauma, um, specifically PTSD and anxiety related to, um, to trauma. So this is his passion, and this is something that we realize there are not any local providers trained in this and there are less than five providers in Ohio who are certified in this um, therapy technique. Um, prolonged exposure is the gold standard for treating trauma. It is the most researched evidence-based treatment. So it is definitely something that I've seen work and uh, we want to train more, more of our staff in the county um, among all the agencies in the county to be able to treat this because there, there's so much trauma um, we're dealing with in the mental health field and substance use disorder field. Yeah, so do you want to explain to everybody what PTSD stands for and kind of how people acquire PTSD? Sure, so uh, without getting in too many clinical terms and technical terms. So PTSD is post-traumatic stress disorder and something that um, the general public sometimes just thinks uh, is something that veterans have or people who have been in, um, in battle or in war um, in the military. So what we find is that civilians can have that same reaction to any kind of trauma where they feel like their life was threatened uh, or they were in danger. So um, the effects of that really um, impact just their daily functioning. So what happens is, you know, it's not addressed and um, individuals who've suffered trauma, whether it's abuse, whether it's um, accidents, whether it's um, something from childhood or something more recent, medical issues, um, anything can be a trauma stressor. Um, and, and we find um, a wide array of those that when we talk to people that come in um, and they don't know that this is something that 
uh, is affecting all all facets of their life. So people tend to isolate and avoid. Um, they may um, really just cut themselves off from from the public and from support systems. So prolonged exposure is something that um, really teaches them to address that trauma and understand how trauma is affecting their whole life. Um, so by being able to safely expose themselves to that and um, really rewire the brain to, um, to think about that differently, they're able to integrate back into society and um, function like they did before the trauma. So obviously I'm not an expert in this. I am also going to go to the training because it's something that I'm very um, interested to work with my patients and people that I see come in the clinic that are dealing with trauma. I want to be able to help them. Yeah. Hey, Adrian, just off the top of your head, what do you think, like in your experience, what the number one thing is um, from the clients you've worked with that has caused their PTSD. I mean, cause just that misconception of it being battle based or military based or um, anything like that. What, what in your experience just to can combat that do you see most commonly? Um, a lot of uh, childhood abuse, uh, a lot of sexual abuse um, or sexual assault. Uh, uh, I work with a lot of women. So that's something that comes up a lot. Um, abusive relationships. Um, I, and I said, you know, there, there definitely have been some where there's uh, a really scary traumatic uh, medical uh, procedure that happened. And, you know, even um, women coming in after childbirth. So that can be something that can be very traumatic that we don't talk about. You know, it's, we just expect that to, you know, we're supposed to recover from this and, um, you know, no one really pays attention to that. So having more screening um, and being able to figure out, um, yeah, this is, this is trauma. This is something that your life was threatened or you felt like, you know, your life was threatened and this is impacting you moving forward. I think it's important for the public to be educated on these things. So that way, if they hear that somebody has PTSD, they don't automatically assume it's from any one nature type of uh, incident in that person's life. So do you want to explain um, the value of this training and what it means to be an evidence-based program? Sure. So um, as a licensed uh, clinician, whether it's a uh, counselor, social worker, um, in the state of Ohio, we have to have ongoing training. So, you know, before we can renew our license, we have to have, you know, so many um, continuing education units to be able to renew our license. We have to show that we're still learning, we're keeping up to date on evidence-based treatment. And, and what that means is that it's a treatment that has been um, been tested. There's been research studies showing that it's effective. Um, so for, for most clinicians here, you know, we have to travel um, to get these kind of trainings. Um, you know, there, there are workshops local, um, you know, usually um, for, for some kind of fee, um, but they're, they're usually smaller in nature, you know, and for, with Hopewell, we are able to do some of our own trainings and provide continuing education and credits as well. Um, but a training this, uh, of this nature is not something that we find locally. So I would, if I were going to take this training uh, without the board support, I would have to travel to at least Pennsylvania um, and I have to pay probably about $1,500 um, and hotel stay and travel for four days. Um, so that's not something that most people in, uh, can do. Um, it's hard to, to be able to do that and, and take that time off of work and make arrangements. So for this to be something that we can do here, um, it's, it's an incredible opportunity. So for, for a conference of this nature um, with a trainer who uh, is a national expert um, in providing this, this therapy, it would cost me $1,500 for the training, uh, plus travel to Pennsylvania or wherever 
yeah, I would have to go. Um, there's nothing local here that that I that we found. Um, plus, hotel stay, food, um, you know, whatever arrangements you would have to make, and taking off work for for four days. Um, it's not. It's a hardship that not everybody can can do. Right. It's an awesome opportunity to have it here locally. Um, do you want to give the audience a little bit of background on who's coming to provide the training? Um, Dr. David Yusko um, is the trainer who will be presenting. Um, he is nationally recognized as um, the expert in PE or prolonged exposure therapy. He trained under the uh, developer, uh, Dr. Edna Foa. She was the developer of, um, of PE. So he trained under her and he um, is the co-founder for the Center for the Treatment and Study of Anxiety um, in Pennsylvania. So he continues to practice and train. He um, also is one of the experts in um, treatment of PTSD and substance use disorders. So they find that, um, you know, part of the avoidance in PTSD is, um, you know, using substances to to avoid uh, feelings and avoid some of those um, negative uh, reactions to trauma. So this training is available um, to any licensed clinician. Uh, there is a priority given to those practicing in Washington County. Adrian, do you want to give a little bit more information on the dates and location for this training? Sure. So the training, uh, the first day of the training is September 30th. That's a Wednesday. Um, I believe we are starting at nine um, and it's an all day. So nine to five. Um, and then each day after that, uh, I, Thursday, Friday, I believe is nine to five and Saturday, maybe a little shorter, um, depending on how much material we get through. Uh, we are holding the training at Rockland United Methodist Church in Belpre. Um, it is 2300 Washington Boulevard. Um, so we have uh, a large hall there, so there will be space for social distancing. Um, we had originally planned to have this training in March and had to cancel due to COVID restrictions. So we are keeping our fingers crossed that we are going to be able to do this and, um, and keep it open to, um, to the participants that are registered. And you can find the registration information either through the Washington County Behavioral Health Board or through Hopewell Health Systems Belpre. If you want to reach out to their Belpre location uh, by phone or their website is www.hopewellhealth.org. Um, for more information on the Behavioral Health Board, you can visit our website at wcbhb.org or contact us on the Recovery is Beautiful Facebook page. I also wanted to provide a hotline number for anybody that is struggling with PTSD, stress, or anxiety. Uh, Hopewell has a behavioral health line at 1-888-475-8484 or 1-800-252-5554. Or Adrian, do you want to provide the office number for the Bell Pre location? Sure, you can give us a call uh, 740-423-8095. Thank you. And thank you for being on today, Adrian. We appreciate your time and your information around, around the training. Thanks, Shay. Thanks for uh, getting the word out there. Thank you for listening to WMOA in the 11th hour brought to you by the Washington County Behavioral Health Board. Thanks for listening to the 11th hour, a service of the Washington County Board of Behavioral Health. Tune in next Friday at 11.05 a.m. right here on WMOA for another edition of The 11th Hour.